everyone welcome to this update video i really hope that you have been enjoying your weekend thus far now the order of the video is first we'll be delving into the conditions across the atlantic basin with focus being on the caribbean some of us have been experiencing some shower activity for others very windy and over in parts of central america there is quite a bit of increase in moisture and with all that rainfall that is going to be increasing the risk of flooding so we'll be talking about that next i want to delve into an update regarding the earthquakes uh, nothing crazy has been going on but uh, just an update to let you know what's the latest and finally we'll be going further to the east because over in the indian ocean it seems as though a new cyclone is going to be forming early in the coming week so let's get straight into it first we're looking at the satellite imagery and here we can see that across the Atlantic Basin, there is that frontal system and uh, that increase in moisture, as I mentioned, over in parts of Central America, particularly uh, from Mexico. A lot of that increased rainfall happening in the Bay of Campeche right now. And then as we look toward the intertropical convergence zone near Africa, South America, we can see all of that convection happening as well but for the caribbean region let's zoom in here we can see that there are these cloud patches moving by with nothing very substantial but of course there's been those passing showers for many islands off the lesser antilles or at least some overcast conditions with all of the winds so it's been very windy as i mentioned going on to that rainfall forecast here we can see that across much of the Caribbean islands, we're not seeing those very, very colorful shadings, but proportions of Western Cuba, the Bahamas, maybe even near the Turks and Caicos Islands as well, there could be some shower activity. And this map, by the way, it goes through tomorrow morning. However, over in the eastern part of Cuba, uh, sections of Haiti and the Dominican Republic, even for Jamaica as well, and the Cayman Islands, it's unlikely that there's going to be any substantial rainfall or at least any widespread substantial rainfall activity. Looking towards Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, it is a similar story, even for parts of the northern Leeward Islands. But as we head further south, you can see some of those green shadings. So those uh, patches of clouds have been moving by, inducing some rainfall. Uh, in parts of Trinidad, Tobago, even for St. Vincent, St. Lucia as well, Martinique, some parts of Martinique that is, but things get a little bit drier headed towards the ABC Islands, parts of Northern Colombia, and much of Venezuela. For the Guyanas, it's pretty colorful down there, especially for Suriname and French Guiana, so there could be some uh, pretty substantial rainfall as we head throughout the rest of today. Some thunderstorms are actually developing right now in parts of Suriname. And as we head over towards Central America, we can see that it gets a lot more colorful over there. Now let's zoom into this area, uh, Northern Central America. There we can see Mexico, uh, Guatemala as well, and even for parts of Honduras and the Bay Islands of Honduras. It is quite colorful. So there could be some decent rainfall, maybe up to two, three inches or even four inches as well but some of those highest totals are expected to be just offshore but nevertheless with all the rain there could be uh flooding in those more vulnerable areas and even some mudslides happening as well so if you're being affected guys please stay safe as uh as you head through the rest of the week and into early next week now we're heading on to the wind forecast for later today that is so here we can see it a lot of these blue shadings popping up across the Gulf of Mexico, near the Bahamas as well, and much of the Caribbean. So for many of us, it has been very, very windy. And with that, those seas are also quite rough. So some of these wind gusts are over 25 up to 30 miles per hour for uh, some areas, especially the ABC Islands down there, we can see those blue shadings. So that has been the story for pretty much all of the week and it continues into the rest of today. Now, moving on to the next aspect of this video, we're going on to those earthquakes. So there have been a couple of earthquakes between last night and early this morning in the vicinity of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico as well. The most recent was a magnitude 3.7 earthquake offshore of the Dominican Republic at around 4.47 a.m. local time. So it hasn't been anything crazy, um, more than likely this wasn't really felt by many people. And uh, even if it was felt, uh, this is definitely not strong at all. So many of the earthquakes within this area every day or every other day 
are usually、uh, weaker than magnitude four, so not very strong earthquakes, and it is quite common for them to happen that often within this general area. So there hasn't been anything crazy across the region. But now we're heading over into the east. We're going above the surface of the Earth, and we're heading further east to the Indian Ocean. Talking about this area right here. Now, this outline we're seeing is off Madagascar, and near Madagascar are two islands, Mauritius and La Réunion. Now, if you have been watching my updates from last week, you would have known that there was a cyclone Bilal, which actually was the equivalent of a hurricane, a Category Two hurricane at peak intensity. And it brought a lot of dangerous impacts to both of the islands, and、uh, it was even underestimated to some degree. So there was a lot of flooding; many people lost their property, many vehicles were washed、uh, were washed away in the floodwaters induced by the cyclone. But it seems as though another cyclone is going to be developing over the course of the next few days, and it may actually make a very close approach to the island of. Mauritius. So this is what we're seeing right now. We're seeing a lot of convective activity happening over northern Madagascar. So this is likely unleashing some periods of some heavy rainfall there. And so let's go on to what the models have to show. We're looking at the GFS ensemble members right now. These are the ensemble tracks, and that black one that is the mean or the average of those smaller ones. And so we can see that for the short term, heading out into the next forty-eight hours or so. Pretty good agreement about that track to the northeast, but a turn towards the south is expected, and the question really is how close will that developing system approach the island? So that island right there is Mauritius, and next to it is La Réunion. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's go on to the runs here. This is as we head out into Monday, the twenty second. There we can see that area of low pressure, and if you're curious about that system further east. That is actually Angrek, an active cyclone, which is not a problem for anyone. It's just loose right out there by itself. But by Monday,、uh, there we can see that the system,、uh, that low pressure system near Madagascar, is expected to continue to the east and eventually、uh, strengthen as it does so. As we head out into Wednesday, this is at 6Z Wednesday. There we can see it expected to be to the east of Mauritius, well to the east of the island at that time, and we can see those black lines kind of getting tighter and tighter. So that is a sign of strengthening, as well as the fact that the pressure, that value we're seeing, is lowering. So prior to this, it was 990. Eight millibars, and now down to nine eighty-one millibars. So this is as of the latest GFS update, and GFS is keeping the system offshore of the islands over the next several days through next week. However, it is showing that it may make a little turn and head very close to La Réunion as we're going to be heading into the following week. But、uh, we'll really have to wait and see how that goes because、uh, that is pretty far out, and there are bound to be some forecast changes. Let's go on to Euro. So this is as we're going to be heading out into. Tuesday of next week, six Z Tuesday, and contrary to GFS, Euro is actually showing that this will be making a very close approach to the islands. Look at the proximity of where that low pressure center is expected to be. So even though yes, it may not make landfall, but landfall is not needed if it is close enough to unleash very dangerous conditions as relates to that heavy rainfall. Then that alone would be a major issue because that triggers those、uh, flood waters and even mudslides as. Well, so that is the concern with the system moving by, and the Canadian model is also in agreement about a closer approach to the island of Mauritius compared to the GFS model. So we'll have to wait and see, guys. But、uh, that area of low pressure is there. It is actually designated as Invest ninety one. S right now, so that is the designation given to it. And if it reaches the、uh, the threshold to be considered a cyclone, then it will be given a name as we head into the next few days. But of course, I'm here to keep you posted as per usual. But if you're in Mauritius or La Réunion, it's good to stay updated on what is. Uh, happening right now, and by the way, the sea surface temperatures are definitely conducive to allow for that intensification to take place. So there is Madagascar, there is the main continent of Africa, and offshore Madagascar to the east, we can see those waters of twenty nine degrees Celsius. So these values are in degrees Celsius, and at the minimum, tropical cyclones would require around twenty six degrees Celsius. So definitely 
warm to support development. But uh, that is not the only factor. There's also those upper level winds and uh, all the moisture, which is definitely around right now. So models are certainly favoring uh, intensification of that area of low pressure in Vest 91. S and I'll be keeping you guys posted as time goes by. Uh, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. So I really hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be otherwise.